Hello guys, Igor here doing one more AppSumo review. Today analyzing Sense Park, a new tool that just arrived on AppSumo and they have already 39 positive reviews. The idea here is to build human relationships and accelerate sales with personalized video emails. They are an alternative to video art and loom and it's a, it's a kind of hair, hair LCD to come up on AppSumo. They have pretty good limits that I'm going to show you with five different tiers. So if you're going to buy it, please select at least tier number two. So there's not no stacking here. You need to select your plan. If it's license tier one, two, three, four, or five, remember that you need to select which one is better for you. And please be aware that workspace is related to your brand so if you have more workspace you can have more brands you can use it to your um to host your clients videos or even to present yourself with different kind of brands if you have one more business so if you get one code for 39 dollars pretty inexpensive you have the limit of 150 videos per month however only one workspace plus three users and 20 gigabytes storage if you get the license tier 2 then you get five workspace so five brands and unlimited videos per month and 100 gigabytes storage i think that is the best call for the regular buyer to get the $99 deal. But if you want to spend more money on it, you can get the license tier five for $39 and then you get 50 workspace is a lot with unlimited video and one terabyte storage with 25 users. So let's check out and see how the tool works. Okay, we are here on SenseSpark and you can see that they have already big players using the tool. Uh, the user interface is pretty cool. I like it so much because it's really simple to work and it's really simple to understand how you are going to play the game. So I'm logging in. Okay, here is the main dashboard where you can see um, all the features of SandSpark. Here on the right, you can switch teams. Remember, teams are the workspace. So if you have one code, one workspace, you have five codes, five workspace. So here you can manage your workspace. And as you can see here, you're going to select your logo and set global styles. Here you can see how the Sense Spark will work. So you're going to have the white label, adding your brand, selecting the color of your text and the color of your call to action button. You can check here that my brand is in the, on that workspace is already configured. So I'm going to go now back to Sense Park and I'm going to start um, explaining you the request video feature. You can request a video from your users, from anyone, from your mother, from your father, your brother, your girlfriend, and so on. How are you going to do it? You're going to click here and they will create a link for you to request a video from your client friends, family, rela relatives, etc. So you're going to click here to request video and then you create the link and then you send the link to your, to the person you want to record the video for you. And then you're going to see it. So your logo here uh, with your colors and the message, Igor is requesting a video from you. And here they will click to start recording using the SenseSpark environment, or they can upload the video. So pretty simple to receive a video from your clients. And 
Sense Park also have a Google Chrome extension, so you can record your videos with your face that can be really big, as you can see here on that template. I'm going to show you that template. You can see, can you see that? So that is really cool uh, on Sense Park that's different from Loom. As you can see here, you can record your your face really big on the screen uh, recording um, on the background. So that's so that's really interesting to record course, and I think it works better than Loom. To create a video, you go here, new video, and you click here, or you can go to templates and select a uh, a template for you. For instance, make video tutorials. Let's select that template. Use templates. So you can see here, there's everything with my brand. And you can add a call to action here and drive to an external URL and change the button text. So get to know my online school. Then you add the link here and it's done. So this is a template for uh, recording tutorials. And how are you going to record? You can use your camera with the screen, your camera or only the screen. Or you can even drop your video here. So you can add a video browsing your computer. You can record or you can add. And for each video, you can change the branding styles. Here you can see the global styles. So let's say we recorded that video, it's everything done. You are gonna, you have the options to copy the link and then you can share the link to your audience. For instance, I have the link here. So that's how uh, your users will see your SensePark video if you share the link. Can you explain today? Can you show me how to my students using our student academy? You can like here. See on the see? page. And here is the call to action. So if I'm going back here, you can add the thumbnail. The thumbnail is which part of video your audience will see when you share the uh, the link on Gmail or when you embed on your website. Okay. You can also add captions here. So they're going to see the thumbnail with the caption and you can even change the color of the captions. Really cool, really interesting deal. Also, you can preview the share page. So you're going to see what your customers or clients or relatives will see. And you can share a video. Clicking here to share a video, you have two options. You can share via link using your Slack, LinkedIn, or anywhere. I, I just um, presented it to you. You can download it. The, you can download the thumbnail. You can download the whole video. You can embed the video on, on your website, so using a Gmail or on your email editor. So you click here to copy the code and it's done. And then you use the HTML editor to embed the video. And you can embed on in your website. So you click here and then you go to the HTML part of your web of your blog post and when you will be editing and then you copy and paste your video with the thumbnails that you select. And you can share on email. So here to share via email, you just click here. They're gonna share the, they're gonna copy the email link and you go, for instance, to Gmail. I'm here on Gmail. I'm here on Gmail. 
and I'm going to copy and paste the link. I just paste the link and it will appear like that. Okay? So you can share the video with your to your audience using the email. So for $39 in, in the tier 1 and $99 the tier 2, that I think it's the best tier. I think that deal is a deal to don't miss. So it's pretty inexpensive, pretty good deal to use videos to record your classes. Remember that you can use the big, big thumbnail to record the class with your audience and it will be awesome. I think that I'm going to use SensePark as my regular device to record my online classes. I think it's the best one for that because of the big, big, big parts of the screen that you can show your face while you are presenting your online class. So if I recommend SensePark, for sure, I think it's an expensive deal with a lot of features and they, I think they are going to grow and be a big company. So if you like that review, please click on the link below on the YouTube video and help me to keep going. Bye-bye.